boom for demand in groceries and meal kits brought to your door at high speeds. Well, another strand to that sector is subscription. A business called The Food Hack recently launched its service for vegan meals with a sharp focus on nutrition. The idea was inspired by the founder's own experience changing diets after developing liver disease. Well, that lady is the chief executive of Food Hack, Sakshi Chabra Mittal, and she joins me now. Sakshi, very good morning to you. Uh, there are a lot, there are other vegan food subscription services out there. What, what is the point of difference for yours? Uh, thanks, Ian, for having me. Uh, the point of difference is that we are taking clinical research on food that's been published, right? And using natural language processing and machine learning, we understand ingredient disease links. We then take these ingredients, work with gourmet chefs to create delicious dishes out of it. So the end goal is, you know, you've still got your calories. I mean, these dishes are low calories. You've got your taste right from all different cuisines. Taste is of utmost importance to us. But at the same time, these dishes are actually adding value to you, to your health. We also believe this is the key to longevity. What longevity means is how do you live longer, but also healthier and happier. Right. So that's the key differentiation between us, where the, this focus of health on taste and nutrition. Now, I mentioned earlier you're, you've had a health issues of your own, but your career actually began in Pfizer. And that was, I guess, the sort of longer term origins for this business. That's right. Yeah. I mean, I have a biotech background. You know, first job was at Pfizer. Most recently, I was at SoftBank uh, for five and a half years, uh, leading their life sciences, food sciences investments. Um, actually, it was then when I was actually doing a sector study on longevity that I mentioned, where there are seven pillars uh, of research around how do we extend lifespan, health span, and one of those pillars is food. Uh, and, you know, I've got two kids, so uh, my first one is, uh, the elder one is four years old, the second one is one and a half. So in my first pregnancy, I developed a rare liver breakdown. Uh, which comes back with a vengeance the second time around. It comes back in 80, 90% of all cases. Uh, I changed my food and basically avoided it. Uh, you know, my obstetricians were all quite surprised. Um, so around then is when I started really going deeper into the clinical research around food and found that there was enough data to prove that food can help you prevent diseases, reverse diseases, maintain diseases, but the food we are surrounded by is wrong it's only leading us in one direction, which is that of chronic diseases, right? Like I couldn't order anything on Deliveroo while I was at my office. And that's when I started working with medical professionals to create a line of foods that were low glycemic index, anti-inflammatory, vegan, gluten-free, free from refined sugars, did a bunch of soft launches. Uh, first one was focused on prenatal, postnatal women to see if people are enjoying the taste right, and got an amazing response. They were all subscription models. People, you know, were retaining week on week on week. Um, and as you know, during the pandemic, you know, food delivery has obviously skyrocketed. Health and wellness has skyrocketed. So earlier last year, I decided to leave SoftBank and do this full time, uh, as there's a big gap in the market. And uh, you mentioned Deliveroo there. I mean, how do, how do you fulfill orders yourself? I mean, do you, do you use outfits like Deliveroo and Just Eat? So we actually use DPD since we're a subscription model, right? So we are next day delivery. We know in advance, uh, you know, DPD is a very, uh, for now we use DPD. We're probably going to add more providers, but we don't do our own deliveries. I've tried, uh, you know, Deliveroo, Uber Eats and things like that during my soft launches. And we may as well add, uh, you know, some of our food to the Getty is uh, deliveries of the world. But for now, just to fulfill subscription, you know, DPD is what we're using today. And what's the largest order that you've handled to date? Or is it all, is, are the orders roughly the same sort of size because it's subscription based? Um, no, actually, um, people are all different, right? So some consumers, uh, you know, order us for, for convenience and health. So a couple of times a week. And the reason we are subscription is this is not your one time takeout. Right. This is a, a lifestyle change and you tell us what you can give us, what part of the week, whether it's three days, four days, five days, you know, but it has to be to really, you know, notice the difference this food can make. You have to give us a certain part of your week. So some people use us a lot, like the largest order we get is like 150 pounds, uh, you know, where someone is basically subscribing for their entire family uh, for majority of their week. 
right? And and these people then order week on week on week because for them it's really easy to stick to a regime, and the regime is to eat say gluten free or low glycemic or sugar free, right? And then you know so there are different subsets of consumers, um, each with different needs. Well, look, while we've got you, uh, you've also uh, in your career worked for the Vision Fund uh, run by SoftBank, of course, one of the world's big, uh, biggest and most successful tech investors. I'd love to know what you think of the market turmoil going on in the, in the US right now with the tech stocks and NASDAQ and so forth. Yeah, I mean, Ian, I think uh, everybody was sort of expecting, um, you know, some sort of a correction in the market, right? To be honest, I don't know, like, I don't think anybody knows exactly what's going on, how real this correction is, whether it's here to stay, um, you know, or, or, or whether this is just, you know, part of your market volatility. I think what we're seeing is the more traditional stocks sort of, you know, correcting compared to tech, uh, you know, as you can tell. Um, I'm not sure if it's here to stay, you know, or, or, or if this is just part of the volatility, it's hard to tell. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, we've got uh, at the Vision Fund, we've got a pretty solid portfolio, right? Uh, you know, which I think uh, we've realized that I think tech is here to stay, right? Uh, it does add convenience. You know, it does make markets even bigger. You know, people are getting busier. They are spending money on convenience. So I think these companies are definitely here to stay and build in value. Um, not sure about how long this volatility is going to last, to be honest. All right, Sakshi Chavra Mittal. Very good to talk to you this morning. Thanks very much indeed for joining me. Thank you, Ian. Just a recap of the uh, breaking news that we brought you a few moments ago.